So this is um, the section number three of this week. And in this time, um, we are going to learn the questions with wolf. Um, we have a previous knowledge about the topic uh, in which we were um, talking about wool and also the, um, the general information about um, this kind of topic, because in this case, it's talking about grammar. So uh, now we are going to talk about the questions or the different categories that we have for questions. In this case, uh, we have this objective in which it says that by the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of rule in questions and answers. So for that reason, we are going to see um, a complete information about the, uh, the way in which we can write questions using this auxiliary. So, the first thing that we need to know is that all questions are questions that can be used in a variety of ways, and we have some uses for these questions. So we are going to begin with the uses for the rule in a question. So we have here number one, and it to say what might happen if something else happens. Then we have number two, and it says as the past form of wheel, because we are going to use this one for the past of wheel. And the third one, it says to talk about a situation that you can imagine happening. So these are the uses for the rule in question. We have in a number one to say what might happen if something else happens that maybe can change the situation or the action that are happening in that moment. Number two, as the past form of will. And the third one, to talk about a situation that you can imagine happening. And in that case, it is not like you are saying that it is possible to happen. In that case, we are talking about that we imagine that a situation can happen. So, rule is often found at the beginning of the sentence. In this case, when we are creating questions using rule, we can find the word at the beginning of the sentence as in many kind of questions that we have studied um, when we are learning English. So in this case, we are going to have some examples. And we have, would you like to go with me? But I'm going to write it like a list. Would you like to go with me? Then we have, would you like to play soccer with us? Then we have the other uh, question, what would you what would you if what would you do if uh, you had a million dollars? Okay. 
Sukihan. Amelia Dolly. So in that case, in some of these kind of questions, you are going to use the rule at the beginning of the sentence. But when you are using the WH word, as we are seeing in the topic of the questions, you are going to write the WH word at the beginning of the question. So we are going to uh, write a lot of examples about a question with a rule and including some uh, conversation questions that we can use. So, we are going to begin with simple uh, questions. In this case, we are not going to have a specific category for this kind of a question. There are just questions with more. Then we have question number one. Would you ever want to go on a date with me? So, in that case, remember that when we are writing a question or asking questions um, with rule, it's because we are trying to sound more polite. In that case, we are going to write this kind of question or to ask this kind of question because we want to sound like very respectful with, with the people that we are asking those questions. Then we have number two and it says, would you study another major? Then number three, would you have more babies? Number four, would you go to Miami with me? Number five, would you buy another car? Number six, would you buy a brand new car? Number seven, would you marry a person from another country? And number eight, would you buy Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency?
So in this case, you can uh, use this kind of question to talk about with people that you don't have like um, a relationship or, or a friendship in this case. So in that case, you can use this kind of question when you are going to try to have like a connection with that people. So um, in some of these questions, you are asking uh, for something specific. But in the other kind of questions, you are not going to ask for something specific. You are going to ask for information that you want to know. So then we have another category because we are uh, talking about the different categories that we are going to use for a, this question with rule. So in this one, there is like a three category because we are going to use all the questions that we have um, or the, all the questions that we're going to ask for people. But in this case, we're going to have some categories in which we're going to see another way to ask questions with rule. Eh, recuerden que estamos hablando del tema del Google, que es el auxiliar que vamos a utilizar para uh, sonar más respetuoso, más formal, ¿verdad? A la hora de hacer una pregunta. En este caso, estamos viendo la primera eh, parte de las preguntas, en las cuales son eh, diferentes preguntas que no tienen una categoría en específico, sino que son preguntas que nosotros le podemos hacer. A gente que sí conocemos, gente que no tenemos tanta confianza o que no tenemos una relación establecida, pero queremos eh, saber algún tipo de información. Now, we are going with the category that is second conditional question. So in this case, it says that second conditional sentences use rules in their structure. So these are examples. Uh, we are going to write some examples of second conditional sentences. So we are going to see those examples. And we have 10 examples. We are going to see number one. What will you do if I was no longer here? What would you do if I was no longer here? In this case, when we are using the conditional, and in this case, the second conditional question, the structure or the main point of the second conditional is the if. That is the connection between the two parts of the sentence. So in that case, the question is a two-part question because we are using if. Number two, what would you do if you had a million dollars? Number three, where would you go if you could fly? So, eh, para esta parte del second conditional, estamos utilizando eh, podemos decirlo que dos partes de una misma oración que la unimos con el y y la podemos traducir como eh, ¿qué haría si mm, yo no estuviera aquí? el sí ¿qué haría si yo no estuviera aquí? Eh, esa es como la conexión que tenemos con el condi eh, con este condicional la otra sería, what would you do if you had um, a million dollars? ¿Qué harías si tuvieras un millón de dólares? Um, ¿A dónde irías si pudieras volar? 
So in that uh, case, we are using the if to connect the two parts of this question. Number four, what would you do if you had a superpower? Number five, how would you feel if you have the power to read mind? What? It will be kind of complicated to read mind because um, in this time, uh, people is like thinking, 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 and thinking, and thinking, and we have a lot of things in our minds, so it sounds like a story, like confusing, like very tired to read the minds of the people of this of this time. So it, I think it is not like a really good sort of power. Number six, how would you feel if you were the strongest man in the world? Hmm, maybe it will be like a very good um, feeling, I think. The strongest man in the world. Number seven, what would you do if you were the owner of Amazon? Wow, oh, that's a really good question. Number eight, what would you do if you had your own island? Number nine, what would you do if you could travel back in time? Mm, this one is a really, really good question. And number 10, what would you do if you could heal 2,000 people in the world? Another one that is very uh, hard to think. And it will be like um, very conflicting question because in this case it is not saying that you can heal good or bad people depending on your ideas of good and bad people so it is like to think about the question and think about the answer that we are going to say in this question number 10. So in that case, we have the uh, category of second conditional question. Now we are going to see the question with would you like. 
that is the structure for this second category of questions. That is, would you like? And we have here the examples. We have number one. And it says, would you like to come to the club? Number two, would you like to have dinner with me? Number three, would you like some cereal for breakfast? Number four, would you like to go to the toasty concert? Number five, would you like to have a glass of wine? Number six, would you like to play soccer with us? Number seven, would you like to watch the latest Star Wars movie tonight? Number eight, would you like to move to Atlanta? Number nine, would you want, would you like me to drive the home? Number 10, what country would you like to visit? Yeah, so if you can see, uh, in the first category, that are the uh, second conditional questions and the question with, would you like, we have a big difference of the possible answer that we can give to those questions. In the second conditional question, you can choose between like uh, an idea. And we can express the things that we are thinking about that um, that option that is uh, given to us. But in the question with um, would you like, we are like just and saying yes or no. In that case, it's like close question because let's see, what would you do if you have a superpower? ¿Qué haría si tuvieras un superpoder? So in that case, I can answer like, oh, I would like to save the planet. 
I would like to buy the, um, the bad guys. I would like to say puppies from the street. I don't know. Our, all, all of that option that we have when we hear that question. But in the case that um, someone asked to us, would you like to have a glass of wine? What we are going to say? Yes, I would like to have a glass of wine. Or no, I wouldn't uh, like to have a glass of wine. So in that case, we're not going to express the ideas that we have. In that case, we're going to choose a just no answer. So in that case, the second conditional questions are like, they are giving more space to us to answer something that we want us to say. But in the would you like, it's like, uh, we're just going to say yes or no. Hasta el momento tenemos dos categorías de preguntas con would. En la primera tenemos el second conditional que nos pone, si nos fijamos también en esa parte, nos pone eh, una parte de imaginación, nos pone a pensar, nos pone a, a, a imaginar una situación que podría, eh, que sería buena que pasara. Uh, because we are talking about superpowers, we are talking about um, Brian, uh, we are talking about a reading mind. Uh, we are talking about being the strongest man in the world, or to have an island. And in that case, it's something imaginary. Maybe we can have some of these things in the future, but in this moment, it is not possible. In este caso, es como detenernos a imaginar, a pensar. ¿Qué haríamos si tuviéramos alguna de esas cosas, verdad? But in the second one, that is, would you like, tenemos eh, como una opción más cerrada de respuesta. Porque estamos eh, viendo que podemos responder sí o no, o we can have another kind of uh, answer that is later, maybe later. No solo vamos a decir sí o no, sino que también podemos utilizar el tal vez después. For example, um, would you like to play soccer with us? ¿Te gustaría jugar eh, fútbol con nosotros o balón pie con nosotros? Yes, I would like to play soccer, or no, I wouldn't uh, like to play soccer, or maybe later, or in a moment. In that case, it is like we just have a short answer for that kind of question. Now, we are going to see the category number three. There is questions with would you rather. So we have the example, number one. So in this case, it's like option, real option. We have two options um, in which we are going to uh, choose one of them. 
For example, would you rather have telekinesis or telepathy? You need to choose one of them. Quisiera tener telekinesis o telepatía. And you are going to choose what is the best option for you. Then we have number two. Would you rather have a cat or a dog? So if you are a cat person, you are going to choose a cat, or if you are a dog person, you are going to, use, uh, to choose a dog, because we have two uh, possible options, but we are going to choose the best one for us. Number three, would you rather find true love today or win the lottery next year? Whoa, that is a very interesting question. So would you rather find it to love today or win the lottery next year? Number four, would you rather be in jail for five years or be in a coma for a decade? Oh. They come up for a decade. Number five, would you rather watch the documentary or read the book? In my case, if you ask me this question, I will say that I really like documentaries, but in this case, you are giving me like a very hard uh, time choosing one of these ones, but I prefer to read the book always. For me, it's reading. That is my um, my best option all the time. Number six. Would you rather have another ten years with your partner? Or a one night stand with your celebrity crush. Oh, wow. It's a hard quit. What? <laughs> it's a hard. It's a um... It's hard to design. Maybe, depending, I don't know. Who is your celebrity crush? But in this case, you have to be very careful on the answer because maybe some people can get mad with the answer. So you need to be very, very with this kind of answer. <laughs> yeah, I know that. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Would you rather lose your sight or your memory? Hmm. Lose your sight or your memory? Yeah. 
I think in this case, in this question, it's depending on the kind of memories that you have. But in the case that you have really bad memories about your life, you are going to answer your memories. But if you have really good memories and things that you want to keep in your mind, you are going to answer your final. It is not like I will think, but I don't know. Number eight, would you rather have a house or a rewind button in your life? Les gustaría tener un botón de pausa o para rebobinar, verdad? Su vida. Kind of interesting. Just for the good moments. Uh -huh. Always. Is okay. I mean, and nobody wants to remember all the bad things. Nobody wants to do that. That's true. Number nine, would you rather watch the sunset or see a rainbow? Oh. In this one, I think it is depending on the meaning. Uh, because some people have a special meaning for rainbows because um, they think like they have a meaning for faith. And other ones uh, prefer the sunset because they find it beautiful and they like to see the colors and all of that thing. But in that case, it's depending on the meaning that you have for uh, those specific uh, activities. And you need to put your own meaning up on those, on those two. In my case, I prefer the sunset. I can find peace. <laughs> and that's your Look meaning. That. Yeah, even if you have a bad day, well, you can see where well, you can watch the sunsets through the harvest horizon and think about the good thing that you have in your life. What do you need to do for repair uh, the bad things or think about it? Oh my God, what I'm doing wrong? It's my life, yeah, so I had to... Uh, yeah, these and kind of things yeah, make me think. And you have a, a, a lot of possibilities to, to see the sunset. But in the case of the rainbow, it's like very uh, different because we don't have a rainbow all the time. But in the sunset, you can um, see the sunset almost every day. Maybe it is raining really hard. It is kind of impossible. But you, you know that. There is a sunset, and with the rainbow, you need the light in the specific moment to have a, a, a this kind of uh, thing. But it is a good a good meaning to see a, a sunset because you need to think about the things that you are doing in your life. That's good. This one, yeah. let's see. This one, would you rather always have a full phone battery? Or a full gas tank. This one. Oh, wait. Mm A full phone battery or a full gas tank? Uh, uh, it it's depends that you want to do 
well, uh, if you're in, in the city, well, uh, I think that you prefer to be your uh, cell phone good or battery, full battery. But if you are traveling, well, it doesn't matter if your phone don't work, you can enjoy uh, the view through okay. the way now. Well, in my case, when I go to the beach, um, I would like to go uh, watch around how it feel or what, what is in that place, how the okay. people live there. And something. Mm -hmm. it so I prefer the best tank mm -hmm. because I'm the people that prefer to be out in the traveling or enjoying the outside. And even if you have a good, um, good stuff at home, but I think that you enjoy better or or could be better outside you know because it's the it's a real world um, but it's my it's my yes in that case uh, when you like to go outside you need a hold that stand but in the case that we are talking about uh, daily life it's kind of difficult because uh, for the moment that we are living in the world, we need a full phone battery because of the work. For example, in my case, I need my full phone battery because I am working the whole day, uh, giving classes and talking with um, my students and talking with the, the, the father and mother and all of that things. So I need myself for more than a full percent. But depending on the situation, if I want to go to other uh, place, I will change that. But in this case, it is for me very hard to change that opinion because I am working almost the seven days of the week because I, I need to do a lot of things that is kind of complicated. But in that yeah. case, you are having options in this kind of questions. 10, 11, would you rather live in a tree house or in a cave? Tree house? Yes, in a tree house. In a tree house or in a cave? Number when I was, yes? when I was Little younger, um, I used to uh, spend time with my brother, you know, in a house, and because we saw, we, we watched a lot of movies about this, and um, I think it's better because in the cave you don't know what. Uh, going through the cave, right? So could be scared. Of course, because it's kind of dark and you will find a lot of insects, bats, and all of that thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you rather stay the age you are physically forever or stay the way you are now financially forever? John versus money. Oh, um, yeah, some kind of eternals. I mean, the movie. <laughs> um,
Then we have another one and it says, would you rather go on a tour with your boss or never go on vacation ever again? What is the meaning of cruise in this context? Crucero. Ir a un crucero oh. con, con su jefe. It's the pen. If I'm a favorito, favorite. could be good. If the boss is someone that is always happy and kind and funny, it will be really good. But if someone that is angry and don't like to talk with people and it's like that kind of bad boss, it will be very bad. I prefer to stay at home. <laughs> Next one. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? I have it very clear in this one. Or the ability to speak. For me, it's okay losing the ability to speak because I really like to read, so I prefer keep reading than keep speaking. For me, it's very, very clear. Yeah. And this one also, but <laughs> I think all of you will prefer to speak any language but i prefer to communicate with animals because in this question it says would you rather be able to speak any language or be able to communicate with animals Would you rather to speak with animals? Of course. Like on Harry Potter? <laughs> like with the snake? Um, yes, but I prefer all the types of animals. Oh, well. Wow, this one. It's very... Mm, what are you going to say? Would you rather be able to erase your own memories or be able to erase someone else's memories? Would you rather be able to erase your own memories or be able to erase someone else's memories? That's kind of complicated and hard to, uh, to answer that question. There's a movie about this topic called uh, Una Mente Sin Recuerdos, something like this. And it's about to um the couple and try to erase all their memories about them because um for the time and they 
was and they were only in fighting and yeah. forgetting things that they live. So they say, wow, well, stop, we need to separate. So I need to uh, erase all my memories about you and you have to do the same to me. It's a in very interesting, that, that movie. It sounds very interesting because uh, in some cases we have that, to take that kind of hard decision to be good. So it sounds very, very interesting. And we have three more questions for this uh, category that is would you rather? And we have the number 17 that it says, would you rather be reincarnate as a fly or just stop existing when you die? This is como la vida después de la muerte. Les gustaría reencarnar en una mosca o dejar de existir cuando muera. Next one, would you rather have more time or more money? Money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, of course. Always. What is time in this situation? Money is my important. Yeah. more money and the last, I mean, the last one yes would you rather go to a movie or to dinner alone movie or dinner alone mm, dinner i prefer to go to uh, dinner alone mm -hmm. um this kind of people that enjoy is um, how can I say solitary? I don't know, solitario. I don't know how to say that. When you are uh, like to spend time alone with you. Yeah, I prefer to be alone. Enjoy with, enjoy myself, you know. It could be weird, but no, it <laughs> it's is not. not. Because it's like if you have a day with yourself, you know, you can eat and you can drink whatever you want and you can go whatever you want. It's all, it's all about you and it all depends uh, about you. So I prefer to go dinner alone. That's good. Uh, so we have at this time three categories of questions. The number one that is in which you can uh, say the things that you want because we are talking about something very um, impossible because we are talking about superpowers. Then we have the second type in which you are going to say yes or no, maybe later, or that kind of short answers. And now we have the third category in which you are going to choose from two options, the things that you prefer to do. In this case, it's like the topic that we were um, learning, I guess, on the Monday, that is talking about like and dislike. And in this case, it is like that because you are going to uh, have two options. In this case, we are just having two options. And you are going to think, what is the best option for me? And in this case, it's very important that you um, know everything that you really like to do, like um, actions, like music, like movies. 
like the ideas that you have for your life. So in this case, we are choosing from two options. And in this case, it is not necessary that all of the people uh, have the same answer because it will be kind of point that all the people have the same idea about the life. It is necessary that you have different ideas. And it's kind of um, funny to see what are the options that you wanted to have for your life. Because it's kind of colorful. We are going to say it like that. It's colorful and we have a lot of options to choose. So we have category number four that are questions and answers with rule. In that case, we are talking about uh, how to ask this kind of question and how to answer. Um, for example, if we have the question, what would you do if you have your own island? That is a question that we have in the first category. What would you do if you have the, you have your own island? Maybe we can answer, I will turn a party every weekend. ¿Qué haría si tuvieran una isla privada? Una isla solo para ustedes. Y la respuesta, I will, y la acción que vamos a realizar. I will throw a party every weekend. Yo haría fiesta todos los fines de semana. Dice la respuesta. But in my case, I will, mm, I will read all the books that I want to read without my cell phone and without the sound of the city and in peace. That is my uh, best option for my island. Then, would you rather have more time or more money? I will choose money. Even in the example says that we are going to choose the money and really enjoy it. Of course, we are going to enjoy our money. Then it says, would you rather go to a movie or to dinner alone? In this case, our answer is, I could go to the movies by myself and enjoy that. But in our case, we are going to prefer go to dinner alone. Um, another one, would you rather live in a tree house or in a cave? So it says, I think a cave is safer or isn't. We are going to choose the best option for us. And the last one, it says, would you rather have coffee or tea for breakfast? I prefer coffee. I don't really drink tea that much. And also it's my case because I prefer coffee. So we have these categories of questions. You are going to read these questions. And I have another question for you, but I will ask those questions tomorrow. So it's time to end the session. And remember, tomorrow I will ask some questions about rules. So you need to be prepared for answering those questions. So we're going to see each other tomorrow in the last day of this week. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow.